everybody, it's Casey Van Gosheimer here. You guys are having an amazing day. So today we are watching the final episode of One Division. Guys, we have come so far since the first episode. And again, like I remember, like yesterday, as if it was yesterday, like reacting to the first episode and being like, oh, if it's not good or if I'm not enjoying it, I'm gonna stop watching it. You know, I'm not gonna react to it. But goddamn, I'm so glad I did because it's such a great show and I absolutely am obsessed with it. Um, the whole internet has been obsessed with it. I got a couple of people into it, which I'm proud of. Um, but it's so, so good. And it's, yeah, I can't believe it's already coming to an end, and I wonder what is in store for us, because we've got a 50 minute episode, a lot of people were saying like, oh, we're gonna get one hour, or one hour 30, I was like, that's gonna be too long, that's a movie, we're not gonna get that, um, it's a TV show, so we're obviously getting a 50 minute episode, I'm very excited, I also thought in tribute to Wanda, that I would do sort of like, sort of like a dark phoenix sort of vibe, but more like the reds like rising out of the darkness sort of vibe, so that's why I did my makeup like this today um even though it's sort of like my Cruella look but I tried to make it a little different like more dark around the eyes and stuff and complete eyeliner <laughs> on the eye so it's a little bit different but I thought it would be fun to make it look like that but anyway there's gonna be a lot of things that happen um a lot of the loose ends are probably gonna be tied up and finished um and we're gonna get a couple of like revelations maybe we're gonna get some clues as to what's gonna happen maybe in spider-man or even in doctor strange will we see steve in strange that'll be interesting um so yeah there's a lot of possibilities where they could take this i'm not gonna say anymore let's just jump straight into this before that please remember to like subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more tv shows movies and video games so without further ado let's jump straight into this <laughs> Oh, ho, 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 we're starting. Go crazy. Oh! <laughs> oh god, is she like? Oh, she's making it hers. Is that anti? Anti vision. Oh no, she knows it's the real thing. Oh no. Oh! Oh my god. You must be destroyed. <laughs> oh my god. Which is not born, she is forged. She has no cousin, no need. You do. You're Ralph Bonner. Ralph Bonner? Oh, in this world he's Ralph. <gasps> Oh my god! Wait a second! He's Ralph! Oh my god. Wait, was Ralph the one that... Yeah, that was... Maybe he's the one who's under witness protection. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god! So he's the one- maybe he was under witness protection or something, but he's Ralph?! That's so weird. Oh my god! Okay, so the Ralph in this world, in Marvel MCU, originally was just a normal Ralph guy who looked like Quicksilver from the X-Men, but, like, she wanted a Quicksilver, so she got that one in this body that looks like Quicksilver, and now he's like- you know, he's this guy. Oh, that's cool. That's very interesting. Okay. Whoa. Oh, no. Is she breaking it? Oh, my God. That looks amazing. And then. <laughs> what the heck? That was so cool. Yes, he's totally going to be part of the Sentinel program if that's going to happen. I have not retained memories. Ah. He doesn't have memories, he has data. Ooh. Oh, all the memories. <laughs> oh, the pain. That's the real vision. <gasps> oh! 
Oh my god, zombie witches, heck yeah! Oh shit. Oh, she's doing the exact same thing as she did in the previous episode! Shit, oh my god, Agatha is so powerful as well. Oh yes! Oh, go Wanda! Oh shit! Oh, the Battle of the Witches! Oh no! will always be broken. Just like you. <laughs> Catherine Hahn! So good! What? Oh, the glyph! Yes, Queen! Good on her! Yes, Wanda! Get her, Wanda! Oh! <laughs> yes! Oh, she's doing exactly what we thought she was! She's sucking all the power back, including her magic! Oh my god, Wanda's gonna be so fucking powerful after draining all her magic! <gasps> She did it. <laughs> so sad. Oh, he cried. Wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was going to happen. She created the house. <sighs> and all that's left and remains is her. You don't hate me. Given the chance and given your power, I'd bring my mom back. No. We all would have probably done the same thing as Wanda. <laughs> Look at her! Oh my god! She looks so good! Oh my god! Yes! Oh! Oh, WandaVision! Yes! So good. I actually really enjoyed that so much. Let's see if there's a... Oh yeah, it seems like there's more at the end. Yeah, Haywood, you're gonna prison! Captain Rambo. They're asking for your career. Sent by an old friend of your mother's. <laughs> Yay! That's the start of Monica's story then for Captain Marvel 2. There's another one. Okay, cool. Nice, I'm getting a lot of cutscenes. Ooh! Beautiful! Who's here? Is that... Oh, it's one... Wonder? Yeah. Oh. What the fuck?! <laughs> What? That's it? What? Oh wait, so the kids are still somewhere. They may have been thrown maybe into another dimension. <gasps> maybe that gets explored in Doctor Strange 2 in Multiverse of Madness. 
Oh, nice. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god. Okay, guys. Jesus, that went so quick. That did not feel like... God damn, that did not feel like 50 minutes. What the heck? Hold on, I'm gonna put an extra light on my phone because it seems very dark in my room right now. There we go. A little bit more brightness. But holy goddamn shit, guys. This episode on so many levels. Um, one thing that we did get right in the aftermath. If you don't know what the aftermath is, we do have our final episode, so I will plug it. Aftermath is a podcast I have on my channel where I host it with the Basden brothers. We talk everything to do with One Division, and we will have our final episode releasing either Sunday night or Monday because tomorrow we're not filming because I have to go somewhere and I I'll be out for most of the day. Um, so yeah. Be warned that the episode will come out late Sunday night or Monday, so we'll see. But anyway, um, oh my god, guys, like, like we got it right that oh, Alex got it right that um, Wanda was going to drain um, uh, Agatha of her magic as well as bring back hers. That was a smart move on Wanda's part. I love the glyph thing because she obviously learned instantly from uh, Agatha, so that was great. I love that she took notes. Smart woman. Um, and she's very intelligent, like Agatha said. Um, and again, this episode was so good. I will say I'm a little bit disappointed that we didn't see Doctor Strange. I really thought that Doctor Strange would come and get involved because he is the, obviously, like, uh, the, um, Sorcerer Supreme. Um, I know this is obviously a couple of days after, um, end of end game um but at the same time i would have expected him to be here i'm guessing we might see stuff of wonder vision in doctor strange maybe um well obviously wonder is going to be in that but it's going to be interesting to see like what happens um but yeah I, I was a little disappointed by doctor strange not being there i really thought he would have ended up coming like maybe at the last minute or maybe something happened and maybe he tells wonder you know like you gotta stop doing this and stuff like that but understandable this is wonder vision so it's all good um but i do love i will say i do love the fact that <laughs> ralph turned out to be some just normal guy but also the fact that agatha had ripped Quicksilver's obviously had ripped Qui Quicksilver like the one from the X-Men universe ripped his soul from a yet another universe and used her magic to sort of pull that in into this world so he looks like Quicksilver he acts like the Quicksilver from that one but also has the memories from this MCU Pietro um so it's like that was great I absolutely loved that um and again that final battle was so good and just her Wanda becoming Scarlet Witch like that's so cool and that end thing like holy shit man like that looks sick um so so good and she looks amazing the costume design on it really well done because obviously everybody has been waiting to see like you know in the home screen of Disney Plus obviously you see all the TVs and you see her outfit and we were like we've never seen that is that gonna come up and obviously it did thank god so Mm -mm -mm. so good um but also i have to say I, I hope that this isn't the last time we see paul bettany i don't think it is because anti-vision left so i'm thinking now that he has those memories it's gonna be vision maybe so i think we might get vision back so i'm happy but i have to say this <sighs> this version of vision dying <laughs> it's so painful and again like I said Wanda deserves so much better because like she's been through so much crap and you know she lost the love of her life twice now and so you know I hope I hope that the anti-vision comes back and he's like you know he remembers everything and maybe he's going to find out more perhaps um he obviously doesn't have memories of having kids and stuff I don't know what's gonna happen to him but I'm guessing he might come back into the story at some point. I love the whole Agatha, you know, Agatha Harkness in this. Was so good. And yeah, I feel like we're going to see her again. I'm glad she didn't get killed. At first, I thought it would be cool to see her get killed, especially if Scarlet Witch was going to be evil. So I was like, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Um, but holy goddamn. Like, my mind is racing, especially with that end part where she's, like, flicking through the book. Like, that was creepy, but, like, it, it shows just how powerful she is. And it's obvious now that the kids are still alive. Oh, I'm so sad. Yeah, that was also heartbreaking. Like, she lost the kids, she lost the vision, but now, like, you know, 
she she's still you know she's still holding out hope and obviously with the magic and maybe in doctor strange multiverse of madness we may be able to save the kids also we did get a cut scene for or like end credit scene i keep saying cut scene as if it was like a video game but we did get an end credit scene for monica so she obviously is going to be in uh captain marvel 2 that's going to be exciting i'm so glad um that we got to see that but overall i really enjoyed this episode like i felt sad that the director had to come out and be like you know be prepared to be especially to the internet especially with cancel culture and all that shit happening at the moment you know in all sorts of different ways um this sort of happened with the mandalorian season two ending as well there was a lot of good positive vibes to it but there was also a lot of hate in the coming weeks afterwards especially with the whole spoilers of season two leave now if you haven't left yet ah that's a bad luck but the luke skywalker cgi everyone was making a big deal I don't know why, but, you know, it's a budget, you know. I don't understand why people got so happy over it. They tried their best. It's the notion that, I don't know, for me, it's like, they did it. They actually, like, showed it off. You know, they did that. I was happy with that. Um, but, um, like, I know, like, it was a little bit emotionalist. But, yeah, that's a different story. But with this, I was very, very happy. Like, I would have liked her to be evil because... Because, it, like, Scarlet Witch has always been seen as an anti-hero, um, a little bit villainous at times, so that's why I was like, I'm ready if it's gonna happen, but if she's sort of an anti-hero still, I'm gonna like it still, because, like, oh my god, it's gonna be amazing, um, and I hope we get to see, obviously, more, and especially with her new costume, like, I do not want that to go to waste, especially with the crown, Oh, I've been waiting so freaking long for the crown, and finally, <laughs> it's here, um, and she looks absolutely stunning. Overall, I'm going to say just quickly, I absolutely loved WandaVision. WandaVision has been something that I've been addicted to. I cannot stop thinking about it during the week, so now it's going to be weird to not watch it. Well, obviously we have Falcon and the Winter Soldier in a couple of weeks, so haha! <laughs> so excited for, like, this, this time of the MCU, like, the mythology, the witches, and the magic. Like, this is what I love, and I'm so excited to see where else they take it. And again... Love this series overall, and I'll probably give it, like, an a, overall, I think, a 9 or an 8 out of 10, because it was so good. Absolutely, like, unique, brand new, so different to anything that's on television at the moment, and just, yeah, it's just, it's so different, and it went so, like, it, it was so different to the original Marvel stuff that we've seen, so that's why I was, like... I'm surprised with how much I liked it, but I I love it so much because it's so refreshing. It's brand new. It's nothing like the other stuff that we've seen from Marvel. So, oh, again, absolutely loved it. And I'm so sad it's over. But I cannot wait to see what else they have in store for us for the rest of the shows that are coming for Disney+. Plus. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction and this small review. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the finale of WandaVision. I absolutely adored it. It was brilliant. Um, again, there was a little bit of, like, you know, not, like, really big disappointment, but a little bit of disappointment, the fact that Doctor Strange didn't turn up, but I'm glad we got to see so much of Wanda and see so much of her power. She's so cool, and I cannot wait to see her in action in the future, and just, again, I cannot wait for the future of Marvel, because it's going to be amazing. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl, out. Woo!